Emily, thank you very much for that wonderful interview. And we have another one to uh, jump right into right away. We have the local ordinary, Archbishop Charles Shepu from Philadelphia, who is hosting this incredible event, right. which is uh, really a prelude to another bigger event. Bigger event, <laughs> yeah. I think this is about 10% the size of, of the uh, just the convention part of the World Meeting of Families we're having. So There you go, just a taste then. But thank you, thanks very much for taking some time to, time to be with us. You celebrated, presided over the Mass this morning uh, uh, to kick off this conve convention. Right. And you said that explicitly, that, that, that this event is directly tied to the World Meeting of Families. But before we go into the convention itself, uh, tell us about the preparations for the World Meeting. How are things coming? What is the atmosphere and the mood right. in Philadelphia at this time? We have 49 days before the uh, World Meeting of Families begins. And then four days after it begins, the Holy Father comes to town. So we, were, we have about 55 days of uh, hard work yet as we prepare to welcome somewhere between a million and a million and a half people to Philadelphia for this event. Uh, we really have been blessed by uh, good numbers of people signing up. Mm -hmm. uh, we had nearly 15,000 people signed up for the, uh, the workshops and the, the keynote addresses during the first four days. Uh, it, the, the makeup is truly international. Uh, the largest single group coming after people from the States or people from Canada, mm -hmm. which we're very happy to, to, to see. But the second largest group is coming from Vietnam. Really? It's just quite amazing. We thought the second largest group would be Mexico, perhaps, but it's Vietnam. Uh, Mexico's in there, too, but we have, l we have large numbers of people coming from Africa. Yeah. So we're very, very happy with the international dimension of the World Meeting of Families. It's going to truly be a meeting of families from around the world to, to celebrate family life, but also to learn from one another how to be better families and how to deal with the specific issues and problems that families have these days. Mm -hmm. One of the, uh, the, the major themes of this convention, but of the Knights of Columbus in general, is the promotion of family life, right. obviously healthy Catholic family life. And uh, the context of the world meeting of families is falling into is this larger conversation we're having in the church today about the challenges of family life. Right. But when you look at uh, you know, your own diocese, Archdiocese Philadelphia, you look at the United States as a country, uh, what are you seeing? What are the great challenges? What are the things that the church has to stand up for and promote and support and say? I think the most important thing is to encourage people to get married. We see a growing trend of young couples uh, who live together, who have children, but don't commit themselves to each other in marriage. And so to do something to promote the joys of marriage and to dissipate the fears around marriage is, I think, is very, very important. That's really the most important issue. It's followed by divorce, which is uh, sometimes uh, easy without much uh, thought and much effort. So people don't get married, and when they do get married, they often get divorced. Uh, so dealing with those kind of basic foundational issues are the most important things to deal with. They're not the, the uh, issues that get the most attention, like the changing nature of marriage, gay marriage and the like, but they really are much more important and foundational. You said uh, this morning when you b began your homily that uh, with the, the World Meeting of Families looming, you said, my gosh, I feel like St. Joseph sometimes saying, what have I gotten myself into? Right. Uh, if you can look past all of the, the, the challenges and the work still ahead that, that, that you have to do, what are you most looking forward to when, when the World Meeting of Families actually starts and then we have right. culminating with the papal visit? Well, you know, the last week, which is the celebration of the World Families Health, is pretty easy for me. My, my role then is simply to be the host of the various uh, speakers who are coming, and of course everybody who comes, but in a special way, the speakers at the workshops and the like, and also then to be the, the primary host for the Holy Father when he arrives. He's staying with me at my home, and I ride with him in his boatmobile, and I think those kind of things are going to be very interesting and actually a lot of fun. I, I don't think I'll have a lot of anxiety at that time because it's, I can't do anything about it. At that yeah. point, we have everything in place. It's in the hands of the Lord. We hope the Lord gives us good weather and, and uh, crowds that really do uh, love one another and appreciate what's going on. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for taking I'm time to I'm very happy to be with you. It's good to see you again. It's always great Sebastian. to see you, and we look forward to seeing you in Philadelphia. Thank we'll you be very much. Covering it and sharing all the images with, with the world. So. See you in 49 days. <laughs> all right, the countdown is on.